For our first tip, let's talk about how to turn on the theater mode. You're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and tap on the mode button in the upper left corner. This will take you to your mode options. We're gonna tap on theater and it will automatically put your watch in the theater mode, which will dim down the screen and put your notifications on vibrate. Now, if you want to adjust the settings further, you can swipe now from the top in the upper right corner, tap on the settings wheel, go to modes, and then tap on theater mode. And here you can actually set the duration of how long your watch is in the theater mode and it'll automatically go off after that set duration. Mine is set for two hours. So after two hours, it'll automatically turn off the theater mode, but you can turn it up to even more, three hours or four hours. And here it shows you in the theater mode, it's going to turn off the always on display. Uh, it's gonna turn off the touchscreen to wake and it's going to silence all of your notification sounds and timers so that it doesn't go off while you're in the theater. Tip number two, swipe down from the top of the screen. We're going to tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner. We're going to go back to modes. This time go to sleep and you'll want to schedule your sleep mode to automatically come on at a certain time of the night by tapping on this switch here. Now, just to show you, when your sleep mode is on, it's going to automatically turn off the always on display. It's going to turn off the raise wrist to wake and the touch screen to wake. And it's going to put all your notifications on do not disturb. This will actually help you conserve battery life at night and it will avoid your watch from constantly vibrating when notifications are coming through your phone. We're going to toggle this switch on and you can set a schedule of what days and times you want it to come on at certain times. I'm gonna tap on set schedule, and by default, it's set to 10 p.m., but you can adjust that obviously accordingly depending on how your sleep schedule is. You can swipe to the left as well to set the end time when you want the sleep mode to automatically go off as well. Number three, this tip is a great one for when you uh, go into the shower or when you go swimming with your watch on. This will turn on the water lock feature, which basically disables the touchscreen so that your watch is not constantly vibrating because of the touch of the water. We're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe to the left, and tap on the icon in the bottom right corner. And now the water lock is enabled. And as you can see, when this is on, the touchscreen is not functional. To turn this off, you're simply going to hold on the um, power button in the right corner. Hold. You want to hold it for two seconds, okay? One 1,000, two 1,000. It always does this ejecting water feature first for a couple of seconds, and then it will turn off. And as you can see, now my touchscreen is working again just like normal. Number four. Let's talk about how to rearrange your tiles when you swipe left and right on your watch. Right now, when I swipe through my watch, I see very specific tile screens. These are called tiles, but some of these I don't really use. And so therefore I would either like to delete them or move them to a different spot on the screen so that I don't see them as frequently. So let's swipe over to the main screen and let's start here. And I'm going to swipe over and I'm gonna start on this tile screen, which basically shows me my activity for the day. I'm gonna press down and hold for one second. It'll take me to this screen. Now notice in the upper right corner, you'll see that little red minus in the corner. And so for example, uh, for this particular screen here, I don't use it too often. So I can hit the minus and it's going to remove that tile altogether. And same for this weather icon, I don't really use this tile, so I'm gonna remove that one. And let's see, uh, here's my schedule, for example. Now guess what? I would like my schedule to be closer to the beginning of my swipe. So I'm going to hold down for one second and I'm gonna drag it left. And this will allow me to change the position of where it shows up. Now, if you bring it all the way to the left, now, 
when I'm on the main screen or the home screen, when I swipe left, it's the first thing I will see. Now this next tip is super helpful and I guarantee you're gonna be using this one a lot. This one is find my phone. Guess what? Your watch is always gonna be on your wrist, but your phone can get lost. So by swiping down from the top of the screen and swiping left, swiping left again, tap on the icon in the upper right corner. This will ping your phone and your phone will make this sound helping you to locate it. I definitely know I'll be using that one for sure. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that like button down below if any of these tips were helpful or you learned for the first time. For our next tip, I'm gonna show you how to program a gesture. There's some cool gesture features that are built in, and one of them is called a knock-knock gesture. Now, to turn this on, we're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, and we're gonna tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner. And from here, we're gonna go up to buttons and gestures. We're gonna swipe up to the knock-knock gesture. And the knock-knock gesture is basically doing this, with your hand, so obviously watch on your hand, do a, a knock knock, and it will trigger an app or a, an action like this. We're gonna tap on select an option, and we can swipe through a list of options or apps that you can trigger to turn on whenever you knock your, your hand twice like this. Now, I'm gonna switch it to messages, and this will be a cool way to trigger my messages whenever I want to just check to see if I have a new text message. Let's give it a try now. There we go. And my text messages came right up and I can start scrolling through to see what new messages are there and what I want to respond to. All right guys, this brings us to the end of our video. Let me know in the comment section down below what tip was your favorite that I went over in the video. And best believe I will be back with a part three. I have even more tips and hidden features to share. So make sure you come back for that video. If you haven't already done so, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.